Mumbai, where the Shiv Sena in a majority in the BMC has green-lighted the controversial open spaces proposal. Now, this envisages handing over public grounds to private parties for maintenance. The Sena has backed the proposal despite stiff opposition from the public and other political parties. My colleague Disha Shah gets us the latest in this update. Listen in. It was just a month ago when Shiv Sena and BJP, both the political parties, passed the much-awaited and delayed interim open space policy year in Mumbai. Despite strong opposition from uh, different political parties like Congress and NCP, both Shiv Sena and BJP went ahead and passed uh, the interim policy. However, talk what the policy was waiting for, it's the final nod from the corporation and to in response to that, what uh, the mayor Sneha Lambeka told Magic Bricks now is uh, that uh, the interim policy has got a green signal from uh, Shiv Sena. In fact, uh, what she told us is uh, that the policy is more or less passed by the BMC. 95% of the policy, she says, is passed by the BMC. It is going to get tabled in front of the corporation next week, but that is just going to be a formality uh, process, she says. However, in response to this, when we spoke to different political parties in the opposition, like the Congress and the BJP, BJP that time had supported the policy in the group leader meeting, but they changed their stance, say, uh, the, uh, the immediately the next day, saying that they had certain conditions and demands. However, when we spoke to the different political parties, they told us uh, that they are going to strongly oppose this policy yet again when it gets tabled in front of the corporation next week. They say that the policy clearly states that the total number of open grounds that Mumbai has should be maintained and repaired by the third party uh, players and by the private players. In fact, this has not gone quite well with the political parties. They say that BMC, the civic body, should itself maintain and repair it as they have a budget allocated of 47,000 crore rupees. So, on one hand, where Shiv Sena is very confidently saying that uh, the policy is passed by the BMC and it's just going to be a formality process when it gets tabled in the front of the corporation. On the other hand, political parties are strongly going to oppose this. So at the end of the day, it remains to be seen whether this uh, open space policy gets final nod from the corporation or not. This is Isha Shah reporting here for Magic Bricks now. Now, the show also spoke with uh, Praveen Cheda from Congress and Manoj Kotak from the BJP, and they said that this policy is not going to benefit the citizens, but only private players. Listen in. My question here is that the Mahanagar Palika has been in the political pressure, the Bharatiya Hindi Party and Sivusha has been in the pressure, and the whole grounds, the playgrounds, then uh, RZ, PG है ये सब वापस लाने में नाकामयाब रही है जो भी पॉलिटिकल पार्टी सिवसेना और भारतीय जनता पार्टी के नेताओं के पास जैसे मातोश्री है बुरीवल में सावर करें ऐसी अलग अलग संस्था जो बड़े बड़े प्लॉट्स लेके बैठे हैं वो वापस देने से इनकार कर रही है इसलिए वापस महानगर पालिका इस प्रकार की पॉलिसी लेकर अपने जो लीडर्स है बीजेपी और शिवसेना के जिनके पास ये प्लॉट्स पड़े हैं उनको कवर करने के लिए उनको मदद करने के लिए इस प्रकार की the remaining 96 plots, uh, do you have any idea? Is the BMC going to take back these 96 plots? Yes, if yes, then when? Definitely, it's corporation's duty to take it back. Commissioner has been bound to do so. And after taking back, BMC and corporation should maintain it unless and until new policy is finalized. So if uh, if at all, if it gets tabled in the corporation and of course we know for the fact if they say that, you know, these open spaces will be maintained by the third, uh, I mean by the private players, then what will be your uh, development then? Again, I said we are not going to allow the private players who is making institutions or grabbing this land for their own purposes. However, the companies, the CSR and good NGOs who is doing the natural justice to the citizen, keeping these places open for the citizens, free of cost and spending crores of rupees, that can be think of. And to take the story forward, we have Shailesh Gandhi, RTA activist, uh, joining us uh, as well on Skype. Uh, uh, Mr. Gandhi, thank you so much for taking time out to be with us here on The Big Story on Magic Bricks. Now, uh, you know, talk to us, uh, the public firmly against it, activists firmly against it. 
but the people in question, the authorities in question, still wanting to go ahead with it. And, you know, common consensus is that this will only benefit private players. Your take? What is this so-called policy and what is at stake? There are about a thousand grounds owned by the Bombay Municipal Corporation and under various fraud processes, about 200 and some odd plots were given to a few private parties. Out of which, private gymkhanas have come up, private lands have been usurped and encroached and restaurants have come up. This is a fact. Private clubs have been made. Citizens are being deprived of open spaces. In a place like Mumbai, we are already starved of open spaces and we have probably 10% of the total spaces required to live reasonably. Now what is happening is, the earlier government had cancelled these policies and said, wait, the present chief minister took a very principled stand just about four or five months back and said that all these plots which have been given to private bodies must be taken back because private bodies develop an ownership over them and that's a fact of life. They started taking them back and suddenly stopped because plots which were in charge of political bigwigs were not being taken back. And now they are talking of a complete reversal of the policy. And what appears to be happening is that they want to pass a policy and give away the grounds to the current cooperators because they don't know whether they'll get re-elected in February or not. This must be opposed. First, the BJP itself must be responsible. I heard the BJP spokesperson saying that, well, it's not a good thing, but we'll give it to good people. What is the good person? Do you give your own property away to any person just because he's good? A poorest man in Mumbai will not give away his property or legal rights to his property to anybody. Even if you trust me or I trust you, we will not give it to our own brothers or parents. And here they are talking in terms of like little children, they are saying, we'll give it to good people. This must be opposed. Citizens, first, the chief minister must clarify why he asked the plots to be taken back and then suddenly is in for a reversal. If the BJP does not support it, I do not think this can get passed in the House. And in the rare event it gets passed, it is the Chief Minister's responsibility to ask that this policy be reversed. It is not a policy. They call it an adoption policy. It's actually a kidnapping and abduction policy of citizens' grounds. Third party interests will be created in what is public property and very, very precious open spaces. These spaces, in fact, given the scarcity, should actually be valued more than what commercial and ownership uh, residential properties are valued at, which would put the state at a few thousands of crores, which today our elected representatives seem hell-bent on giving away to private people so that they can take a loot of this. This is corruption. And you had the story of Navi Mumbai. This is a phenomenal contrast. The Navi Mumbai Municipal Commissioner tries to stand up against political interests, against vested interests, against people who want to loot people, and the public representatives say, we want him out. Unfortunately, the municipal commissioner of Mumbai has not taken a stand. Perhaps he realizes that if he takes a position in favor of citizens, he will also be asked to vote. Can we as citizens, and we need to as citizens, raise our voice against this, refuse to allow this loot of our properties, only then will it work. And in the rare event, I'm hoping this will be stopped much before we need to do anything. But in the rare event, they pass this and ensure that they get the plots away next election. I think citizens without belonging to any party individually should canvas and say any cooperator who has voted for a certain policy which robs us of our properties, which robs the poorest man in Mumbai, I think they should have a conscience that they must realize that this is something evil. This All is right. sinful. You cannot take away from the poorest in this land All right. his property and wealth. And this, I think, citizens should give them a lesson All right, in the next elections. Every individual must go and canvas and say, All right. don't All right. vote for those who did this. Mr. Gandhi, the message is loud and clear. Thank you so much for taking time out to be with us here on The Big Story on Magic Bricks Now. You can watch live TV on our website, mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.